Hi, welcome to another Pico Audio Getting Started tutorial. Now that we've successfully compiled our test application and installed the supporting libraries, it's now time to make some noise. Our first step is to prepare an SD card containing some MP3 files. First I'm going to insert my SD card into the computer. The Pico Audio MP3 SD example loads its MP3 files from an MP3 folder located in the root of your SD card. Your MP3 files can be placed in the root of this directory or into individual subfolders as this directory will be recursively scanned. I'm now going to eject the SD card and insert it into the Pico Audio. Insert your SD card label side up and Goldfinger side down. Now connect your USB cable from the tiny Pico to the computer you're using to program your device. And connect your device to an appropriate sound source, such as a pair of speakers, a line out to an amplifier, or a pair of headphones. Here, I'm using line out to my mixer. The next stage in this tutorial involves compiling the MP3 SD card example and flashing it to your tiny Pico. I'm going to open the example code in the same way that we did in the previous tutorial. I'm also going to open a serial monitor so we can see the output from the tiny Pico. I'm going to arrange these windows so we can better see the output from the tiny Pico. Now we want to click on the upload button in the Arduino application and send the compiled code to the tiny Pico. The time it takes to compile this application will vary depending on your machine. We'll adjust this log window so we can get a better view of what's going on and I'll speed up the compilation process in editing. Once the application is successfully compiled and uploaded to the Pico Audio, you should begin to hear some audio and some data should appear in the serial monitor. This should include metadata regarding the currently playing file, some text indicating that the SD card successfully mounted, and a list of MP3 files that were loaded into the Pico Audio. Alright, now we're successfully making some noise, we can skip through a few tracks and test the play pause functionality. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and that you're getting some big sound out of your little device.